One of the most difficult chess riddles goes as follows. You have a king. Your opponent has a king and three pawns. You can put these pawns anywhere you want, but you have to make a draw. The pawns can't be doubled or tripled, and it's blacks to play first. Sounds insane, right? How can a king draw against three pawns, even though you can put it anywhere you want? So I tried to solve this. My first setup was like this. Can I just take this pawn and this pawn and try to take this later? Unfortunately, we don't have time. Black goes here, we take the pawn, and black runs. The case of chasing two rabbits, we will fail to catch both. That doesn't work. Then I went for a walk and tried other setups in my mind. I tried this one. Maybe I can take this one first, this one second, this one third, and put the king far away. That looks close to working, right? Let's test it out. Place pawn a5, I take pawn a4, king b4, a3. Now, unfortunately, I can't take this because of a2. What if I go here? The issue here is these pawns magically support each other. Black can just play king g7. We can't take because they run, and we can't go anywhere near the pawn, so this eventually, black will win. So that didn't work. Then, I tried another setup. What if I put this pawn here and the king over here? Aha! Uh -huh. Now, if they go a5, the difference is this pawn is on c3. I could take, they go here, come here, and we are in the box. So, I solved the puzzle, right? No. Black can play the amazing c2. An unbelievable defense. Black sacrifices one turn to make white spend two. This allows him to get that extra tempo. And now we're outside the box. Black wins. I was frustrated. I kept thinking. Then I found this setup. What if I take this pawn first and also stop this pawn? Amazingly, after king b3, black cannot make any progress. This allows me enough time to capture this pawn, right? Yes, we made it, right? We're in the box. Unfortunately, there is still a defense for black. Everything has a drawback, every positioning. King g7. When we take this pawn second, black has time to protect this pawn. We're so close. So I tried another setup. What if the king was on a8? I'm almost spent 30 minutes by now. So here, this seems like it's almost working. I take this. So he goes king b7. I take this. King c6. And now king c4. Wow! Our king stops their king. This is better than here. Does that mean we solve the position? No. There's an amazing idea for black to break our defense. He can outflank us with king b6. Now if I go here... King a5, and we lose. So, what is the answer here? Well, I found it. The final modification for white is to put the pawn on a6. And this is a draw, even with best play. They go king b7, I go here. They go king b6, right? Our flackiness? Now, we play king b4. This is a mutual zugzwang. No matter what black plays, he worsens his position. And then we go here. And then we go back. And if he pushes the pawn, now his king can't come here anyway. So this position, after king before, is a draw. 